okay so in this lecture i am going to show how to work on visibility and invisibility of objects on your page this is also one of the important concept so basically you are seeing this edit box now you have to verify whether this edit box is in visible mode or not that is one test case and click on hide that will disappear and you should also verify if that is disappeared or not okay and then click on show and validate if it is appearing back so this is the best exercise to understand how to deal with visibility and invisibility of elements using cypress okay so that's the reason all these you will rarely get in your application somewhere or you may not get all ui objects in one single application right and the last application what we saw is a green card there we have some scenario to handle this um, auto suggestions do we have that no i don't think so we did not have any scenario like drop downs or radio buttons there but you may have an option to click or to select the checkbox in the last page and to click the buttons and if i show another application you may have options to handle drop downs and radio buttons but this is one single page where you will see all common scenarios what you face for automation so that's the reason i felt this is the best way to explain and to understand so hereafter i will take one real time e-commerce application and then we will do end to end automation there okay don't worry i will pick up one more application to get more confidence on this tool all right so first our goal is to verify if this edit box is displaying or not so we have id which is great so when you have id it's so simple again that you can use just hash to get that and validate whether it is visible then obviously assertion should come into picture should is visible behavior or property it's behavior okay visible checked all these are behaviors right value is nothing but a property of that element if it is behavior how do you write that b dot b dot v dot i you can look at here it's auto suggesting us okay just click this and you are done sorry b dot perfect this step will verify if edit box is visible mode or not now let us select this hide button okay you have id again for that so cy dot get dot click and then you actually check if it is visible now it's not visible right so you have to say should not be visible okay simple put not for using negation for the same assertion what you put earlier it should not be visible now you have to select the show button again so that it comes to visible mode show text box so from this lecture you are understanding how to handle this visible using should chai assertion okay nice so this will help us to exercise and verify the functionality all right that's it so let me save this project and quickly go back to our test runner vive is not defined because somewhere i have declared vive by missing c which is very bad isn't it so let's go back it's loading the application and then things are happening it's done it's very very fast so what happened here we were checking if it is visible or not on first attempt 
yes it is visible and then we clicked on the hide button look at right screen it's highlighting for every move i clicked on hide button thereafter when i asked to check if it is not visible assertion saying it's true it's not visible at the same time you can see icon saying this element is not visible and then you clicked on show button which is highlighting on your right side after selecting that it opens up the edit box now came back to display mode and you can see that expected to be visible perfect so this is how you can play with invisible and visible mode and how to put assertions for that now if you want to handle radio buttons this concept is exactly like check boxes nothing different you can either use click or you can use check check method is applicable for radio buttons as well when you select get an identifier for any of this radio buttons and do dot check so that it will check that specific button okay so let's do that a quick thing to understand So value here is radio 2. So using this value, let's build customized CSS. Because I think radio button will be common to all these radio buttons. If I go here, it's also radio button. And second radio button also have same name attribute. And third radio button also have same name attribute. The only attribute which differs from these three attributes is value. So now using this value attribute, let's build CSS selector and ask to select this radio button and then verify if this radio button is selected or not. Okay. All right. So now it's looking easy, right? Yeah. So that's why I have concentrated on Cypress core concepts in my previous section by taking you all the topics and then i am coming to easy stuff now if i start with easy stuff you will have expectation that cypress is easy and then when i complicate things you will give up so if i start with complicated things then you will have a mindset that okay cypress is little tricky let's focus on that and thereafter if i move to easy mode then you will feel that yes i can learn this this is a mindset <laughs> From last 10 years of my teaching experience, I have this framework to make students engaged, motivated to complete the course. So I will switch back the gears every time. Don't worry, I am switching the gear in the next lecture again to little complicated things. But you will not feel it because I will try to explain my best to make it understand. Um, this is autocomplete. Are we not putting proper comments here we should visible invisible right radio buttons cy dot get now i want to use customized css that means tag name which is label you can give or skip tag name that is an optional so let's skip and give the attribute which is value equals to radio 2 right radio 2 put it in double quote right and check it as i said you can use check method for radio buttons as well after you check verify should property not property sorry it's a behavior whether it's checked or not so should be dot checked that's it so save it so with this lecture we have verified check boxes you see that we automated that we automated drop downs by selecting option 2 we have also automated and saw how to auto suggest and handle the option for drop downs and thereafter we have also seen how to handle hide and show and now we were also handled this radio button you see that i have clearly selected radio button 2 by selecting that value property 
and I have also assertion to prove that is checked. Okay, so this is how you can handle radio buttons. It's just same as the check boxes. Perfect. So with this, we are good with all these topics. In the next lecture, let us handle on how to switch tabs and how to switch alerts and kind of things. Okay, those are very real interesting. I will let you know why those are interesting and how different Cypress treats them than other automation tools. Okay, see you in the next lecture. Thank you.